episode 87. Hello everyone and welcome to Wolfenschaffe podcast. My name is Magdalena and this is my little kitty co-host, Domara. Meow. Usually he's chilling somewhere in the background. <laughs> if you're a returning viewer, thank you so, so much for coming back. And if you're a new viewer, this is a podcast mostly about knitting, but some other crafts appear here as well. Also, uh, watercolor and Japanese dance appear from time to time because my life is weird. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I am originally from Poland, but I live in a little town of Adlisville uh, near Zurich in Switzerland with my husband Gleb and our four-year-old son Stasio. Um, you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry under my full name, which is Magdalena Wolf with double F. And yeah, um, what I wanted to say, you might have... Uh, noticed that I haven't been around for quite some time and I thought I will make this episode and make an announcement so that um, I would explain to you and you would know what to expect in the future. Okay, so first there will be an announcement, then I will show you my knitting and then there will be a bonus with uh, a little bit of Japanese dance. The quality of that video won't be perfect, but it's uh, it just from my dad's iPhone and yeah, that's the only thing I've got right now. Maybe um, in the coming months I will have something more. But anyway, uh, I hope you will enjoy it uh, as it is. So first the announcement. Um, after two and a half years of podcasting, I've decided to put the podcast on a hiatus and um, yeah this is this is because um, I feel I need more focus in my life at the moment and uh, I want to really really focus on writing my novel and um, I'm working really really hard on it so this is this is my priority at the moment, and I feel like um, doing many many things uh, makes my energy leak away. So I decided to yeah to just uh, try and get more focus. So I will be focusing on my novel. That is one thing, and the other thing will be focusing on my health a little bit because yeah I have some issues I need to work on. So. Um, so yeah, I need all the time and energy I can get at the moment. Um, I want to also cut a bit, um, cut out the time I use up for social media as well. It's not like I will be disappearing, but there will be less of me there. And um, it's also, yeah, to, for time management purposes, but also for like mental well-being. Uh, for some of us, it's like some of you might might have noticed that uh, social media don't really uh, always uh, have a good influence on us if you, if we overdo it. So I feel like I need a a break from that. So I hope you will understand that. And the hiatus will be at least for the summer, but I don't want to give you any date uh, like set dates. It's just so that you know that um, yeah, I won't be around for a while. And um, I, of course, still love knitting and um, I just need this focus in my life at the moment. And this is the uh, decision that I made about it. And thank you. Thank you so much to all of my viewers, to everyone who, even those of you who've watched only one episode of mine, thank you so much for being there. Uh, thank, thank you for all the comments and thumbs up and subscri uh, subscriptions, everything. It was a pleasure to interact with you. And yeah, I think I will miss it. But as I said, I need to uh, put some... Um, structure into my life at the moment and that's what I decided to do. Um, yeah, um, this is my announcement. Also, 
I wanted to mention uh, that I got some lovely presents recently, uh, which are patterns. And I wanted to thank those who gave them to me. Uh, first of all, it's um, River Flows hat pattern by Barbara from Knitting I Love. Thank you, Barbara. And the other one was a Sunny Everyday um, cardigan pattern by Albina from LB Hand Knits. And it was it was really sweet. Barbara sent me the hat pattern as a birthday gift and Albina sent the pattern as her appreciation for my podcast so it really meant a lot thank you so so much and you should totally check out those patterns um, yeah so let's start with knitting uh, I have a finished object but yeah I forgot to put it on set blockers for you so finally my uh, Edinburgh Yarn Festival socks are finished. Yeah, I've been a bit slow on that. But as I said, I've been uh, focusing mostly on writing. And um, yeah, there was just not much time. I was like concentrating hard on writing all the time. So not much knitting done. And that was also the reason I was not making any episodes, because I thought, yeah, you won't be interested in this much of a progress on the sock, right? <laughs> but anyway, uh, these are done. Whoops. Of course, the ends are not woven in, because, yeah, I always have a problem with that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is the sock. Uh, without the blocker, this is on the blocker. And yeah, I cannot understand why it is so much bluer on the camera. It's more green in the real life. And it, this is um, Knitting Goddess uh, in the Octarine colorway, a Terry Pratchett um, inspired colorway. And yeah, and I have my go-to ribbing here, so it's two by two ribbing. I used to do the twisted rib, uh, one by one twisted rib. Uh, cuff but um, it was very stretchy I mean not stretchy it was it stretched and then it stayed like that okay and uh, this this type of uh, ribbing is just um, yeah it keeps together better I think so yeah this is it as usual it was toe up uh, fish lips kiss heel and what was it um uh, the Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off that I usually do for socks. So yeah, this is it. And yeah, and I have one of my Carbon's interchangeable needles. I think it fell behind the bed and it's um, our bed and it's very uh, hard to get it out of there. So I'm a bit worried <laughs> that I will have to, you know, crawl and try to push this big big bed. I think I will wait for my husband to help me. Anyway, yeah, but he, he, he has this arm injury, so it might not be too easy. Maybe I should invite someone and then ask for help. Um, anyhow, um, so I finished this pair of socks on, on a very fun uh, uh, meetup with Warsaw Knitters. Hello ladies. It's always a pleasure to meet them. And then, then I started a new pair of socks, of course, like you do. And yeah, and I, oh, I only have this much done. Guys, it's just micro togs. All right, but I love how it's knitting up. This is the yarn. And it has all those lovely, beautiful speckles, really teeny tiny speckles. And they just make me so happy when I'm knitting and I come to a, a speckle in a different color. It just... Can you see it? Yeah, I bought it at the Edinburgh Yarn Festival and I believe it's been dyed in Edinburgh. It's this yarn. So it's... Oops. Yeah, <laughs> it's this yarn. 
Cosmic Strings uh, in this soft blend base. The colorway is Blue Bell and it's yes and it's hand dyed in Edinburgh. And uh, she has also an Etsy shop so you can check it out. I have one other uh, skein from her. And where is it? Oh, it's here. Yeah, it's also very speckly. And it's also a soft blend, so I will be having some fun. Maybe these are not really my colors, to be honest. But maybe a pair of socks for Gleb or my dad would be a good idea. Look at that! Woo! So yeah, this is it. And yes, about the sweater, the colorwork sweater. So some of you might have heard that Ellie from Skandier Knits, uh, she designed a beautiful Norwegian uh, colorwork sweater, well, like with this beautiful yoke, and uh, she had to change the name. So now it's not Blåfjell sweater, it's a Winterfjell, as I believe. So, so yeah, if you see this pattern and it's called something different, don't be surprised. It's just um, she had to do that. This is where I am. I'm, yeah, I'm really advancing slowly on it. But yeah. I'm already done with this panel, so now I will be making another one with this dark uh, background and then it will be only yeah, only the, the main color, so this one. And this is a Jameson's Spindrift, no, Jameson's of Shetland's Shetland Spindrift and it's 100% uh, Shetland wool. Kinda scratchy, but... <laughs> We'll see if I'll manage to wear it. Uh, anyway, it's perfect for color work, and and I love how how uh, this this part turned out. It's so delicate, but still beautiful, beautiful. Uh, so the colors I'm using are this is for the main body, and I just oh it was so silly. <laughs> well, I couldn't help it really, but. Uh, I reached this this moment and then um, yeah, it was like this long till the end of the round uh, with this color and then I would switch to this pan panel that doesn't use this colorway which is Lagoon and yeah and I had to join a new skein <laughs> and this looks like that because I used this skein uh, for for making my um, swatch Anyway, uh, it, it was really annoying because I could just, you know, finish with one skein and then start the, uh, the rest of the body with this one, but no, I had to use like this much of yarn. <laughs> however, however, um, I realized that this yarn is just so, so perfect for joining um, the, thread, the, the ends of the yarn uh, from like old skein and new skein to, uh, together. Um, by simply felting, you know, you just you just felt it the, the tips together, and they they uh, just join seamlessly. There's you know they're a little bit um, thicker, of course, in this one spot, but not much, not much, and I find it really really cool <laughs> that you can do this with this yarn. So that's what I did. I uh, I did not like leave the end to be woven in I just I just joined the yarns and then I cut cut the yarn and this is like so this is Lagoon my main color and the contrasting colors are uh, Prussian blue and cloud so yeah I'm really going slowly with this because as you know I need uh, concentration with this it's easy to mess up I think I messed up some flowers here actually but I decided not to frog it. Um, so yeah, uh, looking forward to this, but I'm not really in a hurry because yeah, it's 28 degrees outside right now, so I won't be needing this sweater anytime soon anyway. 
so and it lives in this beautiful beautiful wool and vine yarns bag that Kristen made for me yay uh, so lastly I wanted to share uh, some plans with you because yeah, as I said this sweater is for like uh, warmer weather and right now I also wanted to make something you know um, uh, lighter let's say well the yarn is not lighter it's still fingering weight but yeah there's a new uh, pattern it's very new I think it uh, it was published this week um, by my friend Paula Wisniewska uh, she's also known as Polkanitz and it's called Boho Bella a sweater and I'm planning to knit it in two colors because this is my jam recently. I want to do more, uh, like after I made the spike sweater, which is uh, like made from two colors, I wanted to make some more. So originally this pattern is not uh, written for two colors, but yeah, uh, I talked also with Paula when we met in Warsaw and she said it's totally cool and some other people are also knitting it like that so yay i want to do the lace panel in one color in contrasting color and the rest of the body and the main color so the yarn that i chose i already even caked this because i will be swatching hopefully soon look at that ah love it So I have these two skins and yeah, uh, they are darker than you see at the moment at, on the camera, but it's fi fiber spades, vivacious for ply, 100% superwash merino, very, very fluffy and soft and it's, um, uh, yeah, the colorway is Tweed Imps. <laughs> And I have these two, as I said, and look at that. It's just um, a lot of purples and uh, like, oh, how you call it? Wine color <laughs> and uh, a bit of grayish purples with some, yeah, even greenish uh, overtones. So it's, it's a very beautiful yarn. And then for the, the, the lace uh, panel, I chose this. And it's the same the same base, and it's uh, called the the colorway is called Heavenly, and it's this very very subtle purple with like cooler and warmer overtones and some pinks here, some mauve. I think it will look gorgeous together. Oh yeah, can't wait. So this is it for my knitting and uh, as, as promised I will I will, will present a video that my dad uh, filmed uh, during my performance. It was actually a lot of fun while I was a bit, you know, stressed about it, but in the end it went well. Uh, the audience was really nice, they were, were really focused on me and my sister helped me out um, being my assistant so it was cool and uh, yeah it was a bit like um, a trip to a totally different uh, world for a moment because we had like your regular uh, Polish uh, wedding party and some um, some violin playing stuff like that and then we went to uh, the world of Nihon Buyo, which is traditional uh, Japanese dance. And I will quickly explain. Well, sadly, this, this video that I have is the slowest dance, so it's not very, very exciting. But still, um, it is a dance that is performed on like um, happy occasions. Um, and it's called Kotobuki, which means, uh, literally, it means longevity but it also is used in the sense of con congratulations. So that's why I picked this uh, dance to open uh, my little performance. 
and in this dance the dancer um, takes up a male role so even if it's a woman she's moving like a male dancer would would which is totally different by the way you like put your feet differently and you make your movements differently um anyway so so yeah so the the story is about it's um the the man that is dancing is um giving his wishes uh, to a um, um, young married couple for long life together and he's showing um, the the text uh, of the song is the lyrics are um, talking about uh, symbols of longevity such as um, crane, a turtle, um, a bamboo and a um, pine tree and some of them are shown like uh, you will see the bamboo growing when I'm like uh, turn my back to the audience and the uh, the fan is the bamboo or the fan maybe um the pine as well uh yeah the fan is everything <laughs> Gen generally speaking so so yeah so first he he bows and then he fixes his collar then he fixes his sleeves and then he shows the, the directions of the world and um Later on the story goes and he's, as I said, it's showing the pine tree, the bamboo, uh, he's calling on the, um, the, the ghost of the ancestor to come and bless us. So this is, this is the ancestor and well then, um, yeah, and at the end uh, he, he is again showing the directions, he's um, showing his like uh, pride posture with the fan and um, then what's then uh, yeah then he puts on like uh, this you know traveling straw hat you know, like this and then the fan turns from the hat to a walking stick and he goes on a journey and uh, and he wishes that um, that the young couple will be together until uh, their hair turns white for both of them. So, so it was, uh, yeah, I thought it would be a very good uh, dance to start with. And now, now you can see it. And again, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again uh, quite soon. But I, as I said, I don't have any date set yet. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure, really. And I hope you'll enjoy. Bye. And where is my cat? Yeah. Good. Oh no!
Oh. 